New at 5 o'clock, a baby born in Uganda and flown to Chicago for life-saving medical care in June is reuniting with his mother today. And Jewel Hillary is joining us with that heartwarming story now. Jewel. Hi, Jackie and Ray. Well, there's truly nothing like a loving mother's embrace. And today, baby Caius, born just a few months ago, gazed into his mom's eyes for the first time in weeks. Of course, back in June, mom didn't want to let him go, but in an effort to save his life, she sent him to Chicago for care at Lurie Children's Hospital. I'm just glad that I'm here with him and I get to hold him. With her in-laws by her side and Lurie Children's Hospital nurses and doctors cheering her on. <laughs> Mom, Brenda Nakionga held her baby boy Caius for the first time in about two months. <laughs> Simply unexplainable, it's, it's been magical. Caius, who was born in Uganda with serious health concerns, will turn five months old on Saturday. Oh, he's so calm. He remembers. His doctors say Caius was born without an organ called the thymus, essentially causing him not to have an immune system. He's also battling another rare and life-threatening condition known as CHARGE syndrome. After doctors in Uganda said they couldn't help him, they basically sent him home to die. The baby's paternal grandparents, Diane and Steve Haskin, got approved to bring their grandson to Chicago for medical care. They arrived on June 19th, but mom, Brenda, couldn't come with. I think I, I grew numb, like I, I didn't really have a, like a recollection of what exactly was going on. As soon as the trio touched down at O'Hare, the Lurie medical team was waiting for them. Caius underwent open heart surgery soon after he arrived. He's had a journey here and it was the scariest thing we've ever, ever done in our lives. After connecting with the embassy in Uganda and U.S. lawmakers, Brenda was granted a visa to come to the U.S. and reunite with her son. It means the fruition of a, a lot of tears and prayers and influential people. People we can't thank enough. Thanks for taking care of my I've been happy to do it. It's so special getting to see him grow up and finally get to be with his mom. Could not take his eyes off her. It was so special. Family has been so kind and amazing, and so it's been really nice to be able to celebrate them today. Brenda says she can't say thank you enough to all of her support, especially her in-laws. In different circumstances, I would have them adopt me. But <laughs> but now that I'm a daughter-in-law, I, I couldn't ask for more. Well, from here, Caius has a long road ahead of him. His grandma says he's scheduled for another surgery on September the 5th. He is also on a wait list for a thymus transplant. Tomorrow, Brenda will also reunite with her husband, Caius's dad, who lives in Virginia. If you're interested in supporting the family, you can find the link to the Baby's GoFundMe page under this story on our website, WGNTV.com. Back to you.